those who have received the book, you will find it. You can open the book with me. Those who are not received the book, it's okay. This will be uploaded on the recording. Okay, Dr. Namrata, <laughs> please join with your name. Which are the common conditions you see in your clients, right? Or you may have some condition or your family member may have some condition and you want your present or more interest is in that. In your syllabus, you learn nutrition and dietetics for all conditions. Obesity, malnutrition, diabetes, hypertension, thyroid, pregnancy, growing children, adolescents, elderly population, critical illness, PCOD, cancer, everything you learn. But you will have two, three conditions which are closer to you, right? So you want to know what are this? I, I would like you to write down in the chart, which are the conditions which are closer to you? In terms like you get more clients for that, or you have such kind of people around surrounding you, IBS, gastrointestinal, Keep writing everyone. Those who write, they become active students. Those who are not writing, they become sleeping students. Very good. So if you, after read all these messages and you will see there is a trend. Keep writing, keep writing. Very good, very good. So anemia is one of the important factor in India. Anemia and malnutrition, right? If you belong to tier two cities, or below that taluka place or something, you will see a lot of cases of anemia and uh, malnutrition, especially for children. Now, malnutrition is of two types. One is, the, you have seen some children, they are very thin, they have a good height, but the weight is less. So that is one type of malnutrition. And the second type of malnutrition is, the child has normal height, uh, normal weight, but height is less. You have seen? So both is malnutrition. Don't say that, don't give the excuse that, okay, these are active children playing sports and that's why they are growing in height, but thin weight. So this is also wrong. Someone who is good weight, looks fatty and chubby, but height is less, this is also wrong, right? Both are malnutrition. You will see very common. Obesity is another... Uh, Epidemic we are facing. If you see the trend, most of the common problem is gastrointestinal. Right? Now there is something called gut brain linkage. When you have gastrointestinal problem, the client will not feel good here also. So either the client will have constipation, diarrhea, acidity, gastroesophageal reflux. Right? So all these have some common things to do. We will learn that today. Okay, hypertension, diabetes, PCOD, they go hand in hand. So majorly CVD, right? Cardiovascular diseases and all. Obesity. So if you see all this, their diet recommendations are similar, right? Thyroid, okay. So pregnancy, yes. So we are going to have a separate session by one of the gynecologists, she will take a session on, on nutrition in pregnancy with special focus on anemia. Even if you belong to affluent family because of the excess menstruation, less diet, if, especially if you're a vegetarian, then uh, you uh, may have anemia during pregnancy, very common, right? It is common in all uh, societies, even high socioeconomical status also, okay? So uh, we, we are not going to learn gynecology, my dear Hema. We are going to learn nutrition and diabetes. Okay. So what are the common, if you see, see, you divide the population. Hypertension, diabetes, obesity, PCOD. PCOD is separate, but you can assume that it goes hand in hand, the diet recommendations, one. Second will be malnutrition, anemia. Third will be obesity, right? Then everything else, but all about them comes gastrointestinal problem. So without raising the reaction button, even if your video is off, raise your one hand. If you or someone in your family has a gastrointestinal trouble, 
just raise your hand like this, not in the reaction button, my dear, raise your hand like this. Right? Everyone has, right? So this is so common, right? Now tell me why the client is coming to you, any condition. Either the client has diabetes, hypertension, those who are starting camera, they become my favorite students. I will remember their names. Those who are very shy, they are sleeping, they are watching like this, they should keep their camera off. Okay, if your camera is off, I know that you are relaxing. Okay, if you are active, very good. Sincere student, favorite student, there is a good chance you will get an outstanding student award. Who wants outstanding student award? If you raise both hands, you will get it. You have to raise in the video. Okay, I will check it now with, okay, again, raise, very good, very good. Very good. So those who are raised hand, there is a good chance that you will get it. Those who are not raised hand, you know. One question, any condition, diabetes, hypertension, thyroid, intestinal problem, gastrointestinal problem, or PCOD, any condition, why this client is coming to you? Hypertension client is going to general physician for taking medications. There is no need they should come to you. For Same for PCOD, she will go to gynecologist. For diabetes and all those conditions, they are going to physicians. Why they should come to you? What is the one reason they are looking for? Write down. Anyone giving this correct answer? Weight management, general physician can do. Nutrition, okay, good answer, Anand. What they want, what they want. Yes, very good. Good lifestyle. They want nutrition, diet. Now I tell you what they want. Think in terms of their mind, what they want. They want, they don't want to solve underlying problem from you. They will go to a doctor for that. Easy solution? There is no easy solution, Harish. <laughs> but yeah, clients come for easy solution. <laughs> Very good. Very good, Priya. That's a good word. Relief. They want to feel good. Any client coming to you, they want to feel good. Right? Nutrition dietetics. Now, as a practitioner, today I tell you some secrets. How to make the client feel good with your consultation. Right? What you should give to the client. Everyone take the pen and paper and start writing. Okay, so what is the problem with the client? First, client has some disease. They are emotionally disturbed because of this disease. Plus, they are emotionally disturbed uh, because they are not feeling good internally. There is a thyroid problem, you feel depressed. Hypertension, diabetes, you feel exhausted. PCOD, irritability always. Gastrointestinal trouble, IBS, constipation, diarrhea, gastrophysiology reflex. They are always irritable, they are depressed, they are anxious, right? Few days back, I have kept one uh, status. Those who are read, so intestinal bowel uh, IBS, this irritable bowel syndrome is very strong linkage with anxiety, right? So the client wants to feel good. Now to feel good, a nutrition dietitian can give them something. There are two things you can give. If you are learning psychology counseling with us, then you can give them psychology counseling in addition to nutrition dietetics and earn double money. Yes, okay. And second. Because we focus on the practical aspect. So my practice is linked to for both. And second, write, start writing. Okay. Smile. Before writing, you smile. Right? That is a step one. If a nutrition diet is smiles, Client feels half good. Otherwise, there are some nutrition dietitians. Hey, what is this? Yeah, they are sitting like this. And mm, 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 mm. don't be like that. The client will feel so sad. Faltu hai either. Rupay waste kari time pass. Aise nahi banne ka. Okay. Be a happy, cheerful nutritionist and dietitian. Right? Client will feel half happy after interacting with you. You know. And next time client will say, ma'am, I will come again, right? You don't need to say that, meet me again. Client should say, ma'am, I will meet you again this time. Yeah. So number one step is you smile. 
be cheerful you write down on your face you write down that okay number 2 you give them something probiotics and prebiotics what is probiotic probiotic is some bacteria and yeast so common probiotics which are available at home write down which are the co common probiotics you will give from home food curd yogurt next everyone don't write curd yes give something else buttermilk okay <laughs> okay okay next so when you give buttermilk ask the client to put some jeera powder what do you call jeera in english fermented food ashwini very good spices okay spices jeera cumin very good i was checking you i know the answer i was checking whether you are awake so put some cumin powder right if you want salt or sugar up to you if you don't want both up to you no problem don't tell a hypertensive patient stop the salt completely wrong treatment okay you should continue the normal salt because if you stop because salt is required for the function okay you cannot stop it completely you should continue the normal you should avoid over the table over the table means in the salad you should not take right but you can put in your vegetable roti and uh, dal chawal and everything okay so if you like uh, sweet you can take sweet buttermilk also idli dhokla fermented foods south indian food are the best food for probiotics tell the client give your example you also start before giving example in a week two times you should have fermented south indian food best food you know south indian people they are very happy cheerful right those north indians those who eat south indian food they are also happy and cheerful right because they eat idli dosa dhokla okay if you have a female client tell the client ask your husband to cook you dosa idli and dhokla because the happiness will become double then at our home we have a protocol two to three times every week we will have idli dosa dhokla uttapam and all those things and i will cook that is our protocol okay remaining days then we mix match appam okay so all those these are the best foods so ask the client to incorporate this in their food right and to double the happiness i have told you what is the secret start from your home also so today evening i am going to get lot of calls from husbands of some students saying sir aaj kya padha diya sir kya hai ye mahabharat chal rahi hai theek hai tension you know marriage counseling ke liye <laughs> yogurt south indian food third is you can give some um bacteria and yeast so good bacteria and yeast combination there are so many available in the market okay so by all these pharmaceutical companies so personally i like darolac and sporolac okay so this there are some brands now they have created the hype okay like drink this for happiness drink that and all this majority of things are hype you should read what is the content and what is the composition okay so i will show you how this darolac composition is very good i am not promoting that i am not paid by them right but i do that okay so uh, there is one component lactobacillus acidophilus right it is common in everything but you that is not sufficient my dear so you need something else whenever the client is taking any antibiotic or any painkiller you should add this thing so you will feel you will see that there are some elderly population or critical illness or uh, inflammatory disease like rheumatoid arthritis joint pains all this they keep on taking and uh, painkillers nsaids so this disturbs your gut bacteria then there are some people who keep on taking um, antibiotics then there are some people who have it problem in the stomach gastroesophageal reflux indigestion uh, irregular bowel movements diarrhea or constipation all these people will benefit from combination of probiotics and yeast yeast and bacteria so lactobacillus acidophilus is just one of them it is not complete so you need to give others also right so bifidobacteria is 
another. We will see more. I will show you. You need millions of them in a single dose, right? So this is one example. Every morning you put it in a glass, steer it and drink it. Okay. You also start doing it. You will feel the effect. Okay. So your stomach will give something here and this will give you big smile on your face. Now, what is the linkage between gut and brain, right? There are four happy hormones in your body. Make a separate column or next page. You write this, okay? There are four happy hormones. Who will tell which are the happy hormones? What are the name of happy hormones? Write down the name of happy hormone. Very good. Oxytocin, dopamine, endorphin. Very good. One more. This is tough now. Okay, oxytocin already covered. Serotonin, dopamine, endorphin, and oxytocin. Right? What is the source of serotonin? Where is the serotonin secreted? Anyone giving this right answer will get something. Something will get you. Yeah. Very good. Dr. Pramila, very good. Ritima, my dear. So, Correct answer is serotonin is secreted in gut. And who does that? Who helps it? Gut bacteria. Okay. So if you have a good gut bacteria, if your digestion tract is good, if your tongue is pink, okay. Many people you have seen that they have white tongue, lot of coating. Why? When you go to a physician, they will check your tongue. Why? They want to see how is your gastrointestinal tract. It is that your tongue is the mirror. So as a nutritionist and dietitian, you should also check the tongue. Okay. If you say there is a lot of coating in the tongue, it is a two meaning. A breast is not done. Second can be food okay, or gastrointestinal trauma. So if you have good bacteria in the intestine, am I audible clearly? Yes, I believe yes. Okay. So those were, okay, 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 both okay, yes. Okay, okay, relax, relax. Okay, very good. Jinko audience nahi aa raha na wo ek bar leave karke wapas join karo theek hai ritika leave and join again with the same link Serotonin is secreted in gastrointestinal tract with the help of all these good bacteria and yeast. And that is why it is very important to have healthy food. In this healthy food, there will be two things. One is bacteria. Either you take artificial supplement or bacteria, but preferably you should take natural supplement, right? Personal preference, both. Okay. Both are safe, but you should take from good manufacturer. So, uh, this bacteria will be from yogurt, all the South Indian, almost all the South Indian food, uh, fermented food, some pickles, including gherkins, right? Gherkins, G H E R K I N E S, N S, gherkins, okay? So these are cucumbers. You do it pickle in the brine water. Brine is a saturated salt solution. And second will be vegetables and fruits. Every day, with every meal, you should have vegetables and fruits. What this will do is, this will help your good bacteria, good yeast to develop in your intestine. And this will secrete serotonin and you will feel good. When you feel good, it stops your cycle. What is the problem in most of the gastrointestinal uh, troubles? That um, you don't feel good in the stomach. It causes anxiety. So this anxiety releases all the stress hormones. And this stress hormones cause further gastrointestinal problem, either constipation or diarrhea or gastroesophageal reflux, right? So you need to break the cycle. To break the cycle, there are two ways. Today you will learn. One is the good food, bacteria and vegetables and fruits. And second is deep breathing exercise. Okay. So as a nutritionist dietitian, don't forget to give deep breathing exercise, right? So in deep breathing, you can tell the client, breathe in four, 
count for four, one, two, three, four, and breathe out four, right? Simple, right? Don't tell them do pranayama and all those things. They don't believe, they don't want to do, right? So tell them you do breathing, okay? And in front of you, you ask that line, do with me. Okay, everyone do. And you will feel the experience, okay? Sit comfortably, your back should be supported, feet supported, not hanging on the, okay? And breathe in, I will count till four, you will breathe in one, two, three, four, breathe with your stomach. Your stomach should come out when you breathe, breathe with your nose and breathe out with your mouth. Don't breathe out like this. So candle nahi karne ke. Okay. So you breathe out slowly. So what it does is it excites your vagus nerves. It stimulates your parasympathetic system. It reduces your heart rate. It increases your gastrointestinal juices. It reduces your respiratory rate and it increases your depth of breathing. Okay. So start everyone. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Everyone together, recite. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Slowly now. Two more times, we'll do slowly. Recite all together. One, Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You can see the effect, right? Your heart base has decreased. You are feeling calm. There was a thoughts running on very fast. Now they are calm. You can focus on what I'm talking now, right? You can see the smile on your face. Smile. If you cannot see, force is at a smile. Okay. So, most important fundamental thing is you smile. Second, prebiotics and probiotics. Third, deep breathing exercise. Okay, write down deep breathing exercise. Don't underestimate the power. If you're a nutritionist, dietitian, that doesn't mean that you start writing some supplements, some food, and all those things. That doesn't help. Why the client has come to you? Client wants to feel good holistically overall, right? And your objective should be that. You want the client to come back. You want the client to get the benefit out of your counseling, right? So prebiotics means vegetables and fruits, which helps develop this bacteria and yeast, right? Someone might ask, so what about non-veg? You cannot ask the client to switch from non-veg to veg. Right? Client will not listen to you. Don't talk on this topic. So allow the client to eat whatever wants. You just tell them, tell the client, add vegetables and fruits. Okay? How do you know that non-veg is not good? Right? That is your orthodox belief. Mediterranean people, Asian people, they look very young. Right? So 30 years Indians versus 50 year Asian girl, both look same. So because they are eating seafood. Right. So now that is a matter of debate, whether non-veg is good or veg is good. So we don't want to get into this. Okay. Number four, many times some clients have allergy to milk products. Now we come to the allergy. All, 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 we are talking of all the conditions put together. Okay. These are the common things. It goes unignored. Some client will come to you and say that I always have gastroesophageal reflex. I have a constipation. I have a diarrhea. They don't know what is the problem, right? Because since childhood, they are drinking tea. They are drinking milk, right? But they don't know that this is culprit. You need to kill this tea, right? But they cannot kill this. So they continue. They ignore it. So sometimes this lactose intolerance is the problem. Don't do the diagnosis blindly. But you can tell the client, like you check now for next one week, you will check that after drinking tea or after drinking milk, how you feel or try stop, uh, try not taking milk for one week and try how do you feel? Okay. If there is a constipation, it might get relieved. If there is a diarrhea or gastroesophageal reflex, it might get relieved. 
ओके इफ देर इज इरिटेबिलिटी कुछ अच्छा नहीं लग रहा है पेट में कुछ तो गड़बड़ है उनको बेचारे को मालूम नहीं किया लेकिन कुछ तो है मैम तो ऐसी बात करते हैं तो उसको बोलो कि एक बार दूध बन करके देखे भाई ठीक है देन यू डोंट गिव देम कर्ड यू टेल देम बटर मिल्क सो टेक कर्ड इक्वल वाटर और डबल वाटर प्रॉपरली ब्लेंडेड पुट सम जीरा पाउडर इफ यू लाइक पुट सॉल्ट और शुगर वॉट यू लाइक और नथिंग एंड ड्रिंक इट एवरी डे राइट Plus, you have to reinforce vegetables and fruits. Now, client will ask, "Ma'am, which vegetable should I eat? Should I eat cut? Can I eat sour fruits? Will it not cause cough?" Said, "Tell them whatever you think comfortable. You eat, but sour fruits they don't cause cough. Cough and cold is caused because of bacteria. To prevent that or virus, you wear the mask." Okay. So number four is. एलर्जी पार्ट इन एलर्जी देर आर टू कॉमन एलर्जीज वन इज ओके गुड क्वेश्चन अमृत सो वाई नॉट कर्ड बिकॉज यू नो कर्ड इज थिक राइट इट ऑल्सो हैज सम लैक्टोज कंपोनेंट इन इट राइट एंड इट ऑल्सो हैज लैक्टोज डिजोल्विंग बैक्टेरिया लैक्टोबैसिलस एसिडोफिलस सम पीपल दे हैव प्रॉब्लम आफ्टर हैविंग कर्ड ओके दे फील ब्लोटेड दे फील लाइक एवरीथिंग इज ब्लोटेड आफ्टर Having curd, but when they have buttermilk or fermented food, they feel light. So ask this client one question. After one week, you check whether you are feeling light this week. They will say yes, yes, ma'am. I felt very light. You know, I did not drink tea. So it, tell them it's not about tea. It's about the milk. You can drink black tea or you can drink black coffee. And do you know that if you drink black coffee every day? don't go for green coffee you know? don't do that stupidity it is very bad in taste so if you drink black coffee every day in the morning it reduces your abdominal fats that's a research okay if the client is willing you can add that so fourth number is allergy one is milk and what is the second common allergy we love that allergy we are addicted to that allergen okay there is some molecule in our food we are completely addicted very good dr tarun amrit mehak uh, peanuts gluten a peanut to apan indians ko kahan allergy hai yaar theek hai pollens okay kanchana yeah so gluten theek hai so one may be allergic to gluten or may be sensitive to the gluten okay there can be levels of this sensitivity okay where is gluten found typically wheat okay and all the related things okay so now there are levels of gluten sensitivity someone may have this much allergy only when you eat gluten you feel bloated okay when you, on the days you eat rice and dal you feel light in the night your what is your preference you want to eat moong dal khichdi or dal chawal or you want to eat only khichdi you don't want to eat roti sabji because you want to feel light there is a minor possibility that you are feeling bloated when you eat chapati or roti right so this is a level 1 then further maybe some people have gastroesophageal reflex after eating wheat some people have diarrhea or constipation after eating wheat some people have anxiety you know gluten if someone has gluten allergy it is linked to anxiety also okay irritable bowel syndrome people you need to stop gluten because there has been recent study which says that decreasing the gluten content or reducing removing the gluten from your diet it helps you feel good in intestine as well as ear it reduces your anxiety also okay now what are the things you will advise to the client if it is a non vegetarian very good eat everything in the non veg don't eat roti rice jowar bajra ragi all the south indian foods fermented foods very good okay so these are the items you will advise then if okay good so this was the fourth what are the four things you have learned everyone one is smile two is deep breathing exercise 
you teach the client you also do it every day number 3 prebiotics and probiotics prebiotics means fruits and vegetables and probiotics means all this fermented south indian food plus co yogurt curd buttermilk and some supplements if you want to okay. and fourth will be allergy try to identify which is the allergen okay sometimes there are some people who are allergic to particular food ask them that do you feel that try it out remove that particular food for one week and check if you have suspicion it can be anything it can be tuwar dal or it can be brinjal also sometimes the brinjal seeds they also cause allergy okay good question amrit okay now fifth there are always going to be clients who don't want to reduce gluten they don't want they they don't they don't have comfort or facility to have gluten free diet okay anyone here on a gluten free diet raise your hand i am raising hand it means yes i am on a gluten free diet since more than 2 years now anyone gluten free very good madhuri right so you feel light when you eat gluten free diet very good very good number 5 yes hino number 5 is this water very important right there are some people especially those who are it or those who come from accounts they are so busy in their work that they forget to drink water right so they are poor corporate slaves completely focus on their work dedicated and they forget to drink the basic thing which is water so you should drink around 5 liters of water every day that helps purify your liver kidney helps secrete your juices helps your blood flow well to the brain and it helps purify your skin your skin glows when you drink water okay now there are certain recommendations for water drink water good around 5 liter waters you should drink now after food after immediate your meal when you are taking your meal with fruits and vegetables that water is sufficient one glass of water with the meal is sufficient 30 minutes later you should have one liter of water or at least half liter of water right and you should have water throughout the day when you wake up in the morning your first thing should be water at least one glass of water one glass means 200 ml there are some people who will drink one sip and say ho gaya re baba so nahi so it's like one at least 200 ml of water you should take okay so number 5 is water now there are only two three diseases where you should not give water so their doctor will always tell them ये वाटर कम करने का यू हैव टू रिड्यूस वाटर इनटेक सो व्हाट आर दिस टू थ्री कंडीशंस वन इज हाइपोनेट्रेमिया वेरी लेस कॉमन नंबर 2 इज हार्ट फेलर ओके एंड नंबर 3 इज सम रिनल डिसीज किडनी डिसीज राइट आइदर ग्लोमेरुलोनेफ्राइटिस और क्रोनिक किडनी डिसीज और समथिंग एल्स ओके सो दे विल नो दैट डॉक्टर हैज सेड लेस वाटर it is less common population so one of the common population you will see will be the heart failure right in our typical practice especially after a heart attack and all those right so majorly you can say kidney problem easy words kidney problem and heart problem has your doctor told you that you should reduce less water
so if the client says no then you drink the drink water right so to answer amrit kaur's question answer is this smile that is a number one therapeutic medicine okay for you as well as client and for all the people surrounding you so number 5 is water right now there are number 6 very important someone who is hypertensive diabetes pcod obese what is the problem in all these people all these people what is the problem what is the comorbidity they will have obesity they will have weight problem lifestyle problem right so they will also have higher retention of water salt and sugar right have you noticed that when you eat one uh, sweet you feel good but when when you eat two three sweets you feel <laughs> right you feel difficult breathing because the water has so much accumulated in your body that you find it difficult breathing okay insulin resistance is also there correct right so what you need is here is someone coming from obesity background okay so any lifestyle diseases hypertension diabetes pcod obesity these are lifestyle diseases always remember all these five things plus there are two more things in this so what two things you will add number one is exercise you say it very easy and the client will how ma'am how yes 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 ma'am i will do it just daily daily ma'am yes yes client will not come again okay so the client needs to be motivated internally that needs lot of will power to start exercise okay so many people don't do it so you cannot enforce the client okay you can tell the client exercise will benefit and it will increase your life okay so if you exercise it will add 5 years productive life okay if you are going to survive till 65 last 5 years will be troublesome but if you have exercise 50% trouble will be less right in this language you tell them so that is at least some motivation in few months they will start exercise they are not going to start from today or tomorrow okay you are not doing it since 20 years they are not going to do it okay. number 2 is reduce sodium and sugar okay anything that causes you bloating right that makes you feel full that causes you difficulty breathing that makes you heavy right obesity is it because of fat right now i ask you one question when you lose fat do you reduce your weight question is when you lose weight do you lose fat or when you lose fat you lose weight true or false no correct so when you so it is very important any client coming to you you know why why nutritionist and dietitian they lose the client most of the client they come for lifestyle disease lifestyle modification okay and when you say that okay i will help you reduce your weight client also says that ma'am mereko weight kam karne ka hai so you ask them sit sit here sit with me i will tell you theek okay. hai number 1 when you boil your milk the cream floats what is the cream cream is the fat okay the protein settles down so fat is lightweight and the protein is the muscle mass so the protein will come down right so if you are if you want to lose fat that is a correct objective if your objective is to lose weight then that is a wrong objective because if you go to some other nutritionist and dietitian she will give you some crash uh, medicines crash course and immediately suddenly you will lose weight but there is a serious complication to it what is the serious complication it will cause hypothyroidism and when you are hypothyroidism you have refractory weight gain 
any medicines will not help you okay so those who go for a crash diet you may have seen some people suddenly they become very thin okay like ashwara rai and then after a few months they become something some bodybuilder or something very fat okay like a sumo wrestlers right so if you have a crash diet i tell you what is the physiology behind this if you have a crash diet your normal basal metabolic rate bmr basal metabolic rate is like this okay when you have a crash diet your basal metabolic rate okay changes suddenly okay and then or if you do fasting okay if you do crash fasting what will happen your basal metabolic rate will decrease and now your body has adapted to low basal metabolic rate it will continue it will continue it will continue okay then you start normal food at one day or the other day you are going to start normal food one month one week or one day whatever is your stamina okay so, but some day you will start and when you start normal also then this basal metabolic rate will continue so what will happen whatever you eat it will become fat this will cause refractory obesity and this is difficult to treat so don't go for crash diet number one rule number two don't go for crash weight loss with medicines because all the medicines have side effect even the simple medicine like a crocin it has a side effect so don't go for crash medicines the some people will say you ayurveda and all those things you ask them you go to some government agency and ask what is the formula they are using they will not disclose you which ayurveda medicine because they are mixing ayurveda some anti hypertensives telmisartan some ace inhibitors all those medicines they are juice and giving you and then suddenly you lose your weight when you do that it causes disturbance in your endocrine uh, function okay some people also fall to the victim of hypothyroidism because of this if you develop hypothyroidism it causes weight gain very rapid and this weight gain you cannot treat in addition to weight gain in hypothyroidism it also causes depression okay so if you are having depression plus weight gain okay so first thing you will check is thyroid levels t3 t4 tsh you will learn that in one of the class so never tell the client you are come to me at the correct place i will tell you today something which you don't know weight loss obesity loss these are two different things and why you should not go for a crash diet because it will reduce your basal metabolic rate why you should not go for crash medicines to reduce your crash uh, to re uh, reduce your weight suddenly because it will cause hypothyroidism right so you are convincing the client client likes you now because this is a first nutritionist and dietitian who is telling them yes this is a real fear with that okay otherwise there are people who are there to right just take the money so you are one then second you tell that obesity is because of fat so your objective is to lose fat and when you lose fat you tend to gain you want to replace it with something so that something is going to be your protein right so when you lose fat and increase your protein this weight may remain same or this weight may increase but you reduce your obesity fat deposition okay when you reduce your fat deposition your risk of cardiovascular disease either stroke or heart attack decreases your insulin resistance decreases your pcod decreases that is your objective right why you want to reduce your obesity because you want to live longer you want to manage your hypertension diabetes obesity and pcod for this you need to reduce your insulin resistance you want to increase your insulin sensitivity you want to reduce your fat so you are going to replace it with the protein to reduce your fat you are going to do exercise plus these are the dietary modifications okay so dietary modification all those plus you will tell the client to reduce your sugar intake to avoid clarified butter means ghee completely zero right to reduce your oily food to avoid mcdonalds kfc pizza hut all those things to avoid diet 
coke or any kind of coke okay everything you will avoid right you will eat normal food start every meal with your vegetables and fruits and two to three times in a week you will add fermented food okay <clears throat> Now the client will ask you this common question, ma'am. What about non-veg? So you tell them whatever non-veg you are eating, continue, but try to avoid meat or mutton. You can eat chicken and you can eat fish in the proportion in matter. And also, if you are eating egg, avoid the yellow part, yolk. Okay. So yolk is very rich in cholesterol. You should avoid it. Okay. Yes, idli dosa every day is very good. That's good. There have been studies, multiple studies about ghee or clarified butter. They say that if you don't eat ghee anytime throughout the lifetime, since childhood to adulthood, no problem. No problem. But we Indians, we incorporate ghee since the childhood, the first meal. At 16 years of age, we Indians see the changes in our uh, arteries, atherosclerosis. So ghee is not useful anywhere. Ghee is harmful always, right? Now, when you are talking of so obesity client or this lifestyle disease, what are the things you have mentioned? Five things first. Then you are coming to exercise and some foods to avoid. These foods are we have covered it: fried foods, ghee. Excess oil, all those things. Now, uh, then mutton also we, you are going to avoid. Okay. You will tell the this client, particular client, that they will need to reduce their sugar intake and continue the salt intake, whichever there is present salt intake. Okay. But when they eat salad, don't put salt. Okay. In roti, sabji, dal, chawal, continue with your present salt intake. Right. Ghee in any form is harmful. It does not reduce weight. Either you take it empty stomach or any formula. Okay. Now, if you want to reduce your intestinal obesity or if you want to reduce your fat cells, there is one secret formula I will tell you today. Everyone pay attention. Write down. Very easy and simple. Okay. Probably some people, some of you are trying it. Okay. So you will reduce the milk. You will remove milk. When you remove milk, you are removing chocolates, ice cream, milk tea, milk coffee. Right? You incorporate either green tea or black coffee. Every morning have a black coffee plus honey with squeeze of lemon. Right? Every morning you do this. You try yourself one month. You tell all your clients to do this. Those who are coming for a lifestyle disease, Obesity, diabetes, PCOD, hypertension, all these people. So you tell them that you start with green tea or black coffee plus squeeze of lemon and honey. So how to take honey? You take two, three spoons, four spoons, five spoons, whichever you like, honey, a squeeze of lemon, put some warm water or normal water. If you are lazy, you cannot do the warm water. You do the normal water and stir it, drink every morning. One, whenever you are having tea or coffee, avoid milk and sugar. Right. Now, there are some people who say that jaggery, sugar-free, fruits. But you know, the problem is not Sugar free sugar. The problem is not sugar, sugar. The problem is something which you are taking with that. So you have a laddu. Okay, you have a sweet which is sugar free and you think that it is good. No, my dear. Sugar is not the only enemy, but this whole other things, whatever the component of this laddu is equally harmful. It also has calories and these calories are more as compared to the sugar. So even sugar free laddu is not good. Right. 
वेरी गुड मनिका आई लाइक यू फॉर आस्किंग दिस क्वेश्चन कम टू पॉइंट नंबर एट फॉर दिस ओबेसिटी पीपल वी एड ऑइल विच आर द ऑइल्स कॉमन ऑइल्स वॉट डू यू थिंक इज द बेस्ट ऑइल अकॉर्डिंग टू यू राइट डाउन राइट डाउन विच इज द कॉमन ऑइल बेस्ट ऑइल यू थिंक मस्टर्ड करें वेरी गुड वेरी गुड If I'm saying very good, doesn't mean right answer, huh? <laughs> It means yeah, good, good. You are participating. Very good, very good. Ha ha ha. Okay. Keep on changing oils. ये तो बड़ा अच्छा लगा. Good. Actually, ये भी point अच्छा है. हाँ. Sesame oil mixed, mixed. हाँ. चलो. Today we will find out which is a good oil. If you tell the client use olive oil for everything, client will say, "Yar, madam, बड़े महंगे हैं यार." है ना हम तो अभी 150 रुपए का ऑयल यूज करते हैं 150 फिफ्टी रुपीज ऑयल वर्सेज फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड रुपीज किलो ऑयल मैच नहीं है है ना सो ऑलि ऑयल इज वेरी कॉस्टली स्पेशली इन इंडिया एंड नाउ ऑलि ऑयल आज थ्री टाइप्स वर्जिन एक्स्ट्रा वर्जिन पोमेस राइट विच वन यू विल यूज फॉर कुकिंग इन ऑलि ऑयल विच वन यू विल यूज फॉर कुकिंग ऑलि ऑयल एक्स्ट्रा वर्जिन वर्जिन और पोमेस सो यू यूज पोमेस करेक्ट P O M A C, but it is again very costly, fifteen hundred to two thousand per liter. You cannot. Most of the people don't want it, and then there is a difference in the taste because we are accustomed to normal oils. Virgin and extra virgin, you can use for applying on your skin and dressings on your fruit, but you cannot cook this oil. Okay, virgin and extra virgin oil, you should not cook. Otherwise, texture will change. Right? You can add. Now, uh, don't recommend it blindly to the client. Uh, add olive oil. They will think, "Yeah, ma'am, कुछ भी बोलती है यार. खुद तो करते नहीं हैं. खुद तो mustard oil use करते हैं. हमको बोल रहे हैं olive oil करो. है ना? Clients say this sometimes, or clients will think at least. So you give them some practical solution. Ask which oil you are using. Okay. So watch with the good oil. We start. Number one. I am waiting for the answer. Number one. sunflower rice bran these are number one okay sunflower okay economical commonly available reasonable rate as compared to others less cholesterol all those things so sunflower rice bran oil equal test approximately as compared to other oils you have to take care of that also now the problem with rice bran oil is rice rice oil rice rice bran oil taste is different so many people don't like it so you say both the options are there sunflower or rice bran oil okay then second comes groundnut oil okay there are some people who say that we use groundnut oil but you know groundnut oil is less recommended as compared to sunflower oil groundnut then comes all the oils below that okay coconut mustard everything right so if the client is doing uh, using mustard oil coconut oil all those oil either cold press hot press good press none none press nothing anything right whichever company everything is equal here right so kachi ghani ka tel pakke ghani ka tel whatever it is so all these are mustard and all those things uh, mustard and uh, coconut all those are at a lower level so tell the client you switch to sunflower oil okay Ghee, you remove completely. How many of you you are using sunflower oil? Okay. So, if someone is recommending ghee, ask them what is the study. on what basis you are recommending what is your qualification okay so malika so ask that nutritionist two things what is your qualification which study on the basis of which you are recommending ghee to lose weight okay show me the proper studies show me the recommendation by who cdc icmr or some indian body then i will agree okay because all the bodies say that 
you should remove ghee from your food so there are only two foods which are wholesome food if you eat these two foods you are complete all nutrients is covered which are those two foods very good egg and milk kanchana good answer very good so shital good very good everyone good so if you have eggs and milk this will cover everything okay if you are having obesity diabetes hypertension pcod you should remove the egg yolk yellow component white is good now white raw or cooked anyone recommending raw white egg anyone recommending raw white egg only cooked either you cook it by fry or you boil raw should not be eaten because it causes biotin deficiency okay it is harmful and it doesn't get absorbed we are not built for absorbing raw we are not tigers you know yeah some of us are tigers yes yes after marriage then they become non tigers okay because they serve the tigress yeah sai you agree yeah sai is not yet married yeah Hey. <clears throat> so Rupali, Rupal, Rupal has asked a very good question. So I will okay. We'll cover that. We'll cover that someday. Ritika, can you can you clarify what is that? Fat to reduce fat. i do not know that that must be some marketing tactic to sell some product okay that's a corrupt corruption actually <laughs> one of the interesting thing for all the client right either it is gastrointestinal trouble elderly population pcod hypertension diabetes anything adding soya bean is good okay now why soya bean we'll see this now okay sunflower sunflower oil or rice bran oil but rice bran oil some people don't like taste sunflower is the recommendation so cotton seed oil has a very good test uh, but i don't know how much is the what is the component okay so i will have to check with that palm oil you should not use right so palm oil is the one of the worst oil okay then equal to ghee or all those things now we come to the soya bean okay we are coming my dear we are coming okay yeah. all this lifestyle diseases plus all the normal population gastrointestinal elderly population everyone you add soya bean in their diet how to do that and what are the benefits if you see elderly population what is the problem they face with two problems three problems one is some gastrointestinal trouble as their gastroesophageal reflux acidity diarrhea or constipation right number two they face is uh, decreased bone density number three estrogen deficiency or hormonal deficiency correct all these three things can be taken care by soya bean okay so soya bean now it is available in two forms one is the soya bean chunks you know you eat soya bean vadi soya bean chunks right what is that you remove the oil from the soya bean and whatever this is remaining for the cattle you eat that cattle food that is soya bean chunks right nothing is there except the fibers it is still good still not bad okay the other soya bean is other soya bean is the seeds of the soya bean okay soya bean seeds all your clients you recommend this they will like you very much because the benefit so what are the benefits skin will glow bones will become stronger even for child all age group safe for all age group safe for all diseases right it is a richest so vegetable source it is a richest source of calcium okay good for skin good for bones muscles richest source of 
calcium and it contains phytoestrogen which is a natural hormone present in that and that gets converted to good hormone in the body right so we'll, we are coming to it number 5 it is one of the rich vegetable source of protein not as good as egg but almost you can compare that because egg is a non vegetarian most of the people consider so substitute of egg will be soya bean right someone who wants to reduce the weight increase the muscle mass reduce the lifestyle diseases hypertension obesity diabetes pcod you need to reduce their obesity causing products and add the protein so protein if it is a non vegetarian very easy you add fish seafood chicken eggs if it is a vegetarian you add soya bean good don't tell them tofu and all those big things they will like kya yeah, ma'am tofu ka tasty pasand nahi aata hai ha na so you cannot do that so there is a good way to add your soya bean in your diet number one is that bhusa wala soya bean chunk so soya bean is safe for men also sai i understood so dr sai is a dentist a good craftsman for he does the wax craft huh? so he makes some beautiful things carvings on the wax and all so dr sai is asking sir you just now said soya bean is a good source of phytoestrogens so it is good for women but what about men is it good yes it is good for men also so it will not cause any side effect which is related to uh, synthetic estrogens okay so we also need some component of estrogen uh, for uh, many functions so it it is helpful right because it is natural it is a phytoestrogen okay and it will be converted as much as body needs it will not be over right so so i mean two ways to it number one is soya bean chunks number two who will tell me number two soya bean seeds soya flour so don't buy ready made soya flour okay soya milk is costly my dear right most of the times clients are not comfortable drinking soya milk because they don't like taste cost is different all this soya atta now soya atta how to do that there are two options for that if you you ask the client ki aap atta kahan ka khate ho right you get your wheat to the flour mill or you buy it ready made okay if you do it flour mill then in your wheat next time when you do the flour mill 5 kg of wheat write down everyone you add these things you add the things which i am telling you today okay 5 kg wheat 1 kg soybean seeds not chunks soybean seeds these are available on big basket and all the shops okay it looks like barbati seeds okay you can cook a uh, vegetable also i will tell you that recipe also soybean vegetable you remind me after this okay so soybean seeds 1 kg then add 1 kg or half kg some jowar in that half kg jowar because it adds fibers okay half kg you add some lentils uh, like this uh, your dal or something if you want okay if you like but at least for every 5 kg uh, wheat you add 1 kg soybean okay chana is besan so many times some people they are not comfortable with besan okay right and chana in the flour mill it is difficult right so this flour mill person will not take chana in the wheat thing you know this okay so option one is this option two is you if you buy ready made pillsbury ashirwad both have multi grain atta right you can buy they have mixed components of multi grain atta right ragi you can add but some people don't like taste of ragi and ragi changes the color to the black you notice if you add ragi to your wheat it will change the black color so then you don't like okay you are like e, kya bhusa khila raha hai yaar kya hai ye ha kali kali kutte ki roti khila di hai <laughs> yaar insano ki roti khila unko theek <laughs> hai okay some people they need tea so i will give you psychological tea now okay some people they are like ah okay so wait okay i will give you a good story 
Once we were children, and as a children from small village, we used to go for some picnics, some farm or some dam or some place. So two three families all we went, and then there was some dadi types lady, that means old elderly lady, and uh, she was like serving the jawar bhakri. Okay, so she was serving jawar bhakri. So all the children were sitting like this, like ten fifteen children, and she could not reach. She was sitting. Okay. So cross leg, so she cannot reach. So she was like, and so like oh, this jawar bakri was big, huh? all all those big jawar bakri and thick and had some black color actually because it was cooked on this charcoal and all, and it was tinged with the ash of the charcoal, and she like broke the jawar roti into four pieces and she was like, <laughs> and we children were like. दादी हम क्या कुत्ता है आप ऐसी रोटी फेंक के डाल रहे हैं हमको सो इट वाज सो फ्रॉम दैट आई रिमेंबर दैट वी डोंट लाइक ब्लैक रोटीज सो रागी यू कैन हैव सेपरेटली इफ यू वांट सो डोंट मिक्स इन द योर व्हीट बिकॉज़ चिल्ड्रन विल नॉट लाइक इट नॉट एवरीवन इन योर फैमिली विल लाइक इट ओके so soya bean is safe it will not change the taste it will enhance the taste it will increase calcium protein phytoestrogens which are good for all age group from children to elderly population good how many of you will start doing this or recommend and recommend to your clients raise your hand in your camera without the reaction button okay so very good if you start doing it you will start feeling good if you are having frequent joint pains so start uh, this way again it really helps very good soya bean oil is good but it comes next to sunflower oil okay sunflower oil ras bran oil soya bean oil then comes groundnut oil okay so if someone is on soya bean oil you can shift for sunflower oil if they want if they don't want it's okay absolutely fine right with minimum change in taste and price you have to take care of that also right now uh, i do not know any recommendation is there any study which says that soybean is not good for thyroid patients i am not aware of this soybean i don't believe okay you can send me the link for that uh, study please send me the link for that study there are some people who prescribe from their own wisdom uh, or from their own she... dadi ma ke uske right and there are some who read something on the internet or someone's instagram and they think yeah oh, how oh, oh, instagram is correct so instagram is not correct we will follow the protocols okay icmr guideline or we will follow uh, who and cdc guidelines okay so please send me some guideline related to that yes maka maka is very good corn so in this uh, wheat component you can add when you add 5 kg wheat 1 kg soya bean you can add half to 1 kg maka also corn okay dried corn so that will also enhance the taste and will add fibers okay okay so ask them what is the study so if someone is saying that you should ask which guideline you are following okay so you should always be scientific okay now questions time we take a break for 10 minutes during this break you are allowed to ask questions fun filled questions don't ask some difficult now if you ask some foolish question you are my favorite because everyone has this foolish question but they are afraid to ask so you ask me some foolish question i will sincerely answer it soya for kidney patients i will need to confirm that hema read the book or you will learn in that chapter or renal so there will be all the things fatty liver smriti we will have a separate session on that
soya bean is very good for arthritis because it has some chemicals including phytoestrogen calcium and protein which are good for arthritis old age population as well it reduces some pain it uh, helps reducing uh, or slow down the bone erosions Dr. Pramila, so we will have to check the recommendation, my dear. So ICMR, does it give ghee to the keto patients? Like you take the ghee so that you feel good. So I don't have read it. That's a study and such recommendation. Hina, very good question and a practical question. So many people, they... For gout and all, read the chapter, please. That is rare condition. Okay. Uh, and anyways, you will learn sometime. Obviously, olive oil is better than sunflower oil, but olive oil is costly. So clients are not comfortable. Right. Now, the question was, can we eat? Hina has a question. Interesting. Can we uh, drink, not eat? Can we drink water in between the meals? There are some people who have the habit. And uh, changing the habit takes time. Right. It is recommended that when you are eating, you should drink uh, around one glass or maximum of two glass, not more than two glass during your meal. Okay. Because there have been some philosophies that says that when they when you drink water with your meal, it dilutes your acid and it in, in hampers your digestion and all. Okay. So it is better to reduce your water intake because this water intake if you feel like spicy or chili or something then you can drink but otherwise this water intake is taken care of by the other foods kadi dal or your curry and uh, fruits vegetables it is taken care of. so after half hour of meal you should ideally drink sufficient water Emma has a very interesting question okay <laughs> so kidney kidney stones are not caused just because of the calcium there are various mechanisms for that okay one of them is uric acid second more common is infection okay so calcium is inadvertently additionally deposited okay so you should not take calcium supplements the problem with the calcium supplements is that they get absorbed, okay, and then they get deposited. But when you take natural calcium, which is there in curd, milk, or some food like soya bean, it is absorbed as much as you require. And it is not a free calcium. It is binded with some organic compounds. So it is a safer. Anyways, it's a scenario you should ask the client to check with their a renologist, kidney specialist, okay, nephrologist. You can read the bioability, all those formulas. So, Sapna, that is also a very good question. Someone may be allergic, but may have realized after, or someone may have developed allergies after a few years. It happens. Neha, very good question. You can. Uh, you should uh, obviously ask the family uh, doctor. Now, why a child? This is a good question. Probably we are going to take this tomorrow, but I will cover this. Okay. So, why a child feels some uneasiness in the stomach? What is the common reason? You tell me. There is some infection. This infection can be three things. One is the virus, which is the most common viral infection in India for stomach, intestine. Correct. So virus, bacteria and worms. So which is the most common infection in India? Viral infection for intestine in children. Rotavirus. Very good, Dr. Tarun. It was expected. Pediatrician. So you were supposed to give correct answer, Dr. Tarun. Very good. So <coughs> rotavirus is the most common. Then second will be bacterial infection. Third, you can count amoeba. Okay. So amoebias is common cause will be uh, this infected water and all those things. 
Number three, unclean water bottles and all those things. And number three will be worms. How to prevent worms in children? Whenever eating sweets does not cause worms. So there is a myth. Many people think that eating sweets cause worms. Wrong. Eating sweets with dirty hand causes worms. I tell you how the it works. You have seeds of the worms on your hand. They are in the dust. The child comes from the play or they are on the playground. They open the chocolate. They touch the chocolate. They eat it. You are a mother. You are doing some work and you open your box of laddu. You touch it and give it to the child. Wrong. Okay. You also have warm seeds on your hand. Okay. So you this what happens is when you have sweets, the sweet is touching the seeds. The sweets get activated in the stomach, and then they go to the intestine. They become larvae and worms. Okay, so you can eat sweets first. Wash your hands. So either while serving the sweets or eating the sweets, handling of sweets, or you should use spoon every time. Preferably for cake, any kind of sweets, use. Spoon. If the child is eating chocolate, tell them that use the wrapper. Do not touch the chocolate. Touch the wrapper. Okay. We are not discussing whether child chocolate is good or bad right now. That is not a topic. Topic is how to eat the chocolate correctly. So do not touch the chocolate. So sweets activate the warm seeds early. That goes to the stomach, then intestine, larvae and worms. So for that, pediatrician or your family doctor will give syrup zentil. Okay. You can repeat it after six months. You should ideally repeat it after one week so that larvae when becomes adults, they are also killed. So when the child is complaining of frequent stomach trouble, so there can be four things actually. Okay. So one is the rotavirus. Second is bacterial infection or amoebiasis. Amoebiasis is not a bacteria, but okay, roughly. Okay. Then it's parasite. Third will be worms. Okay. And the fourth will be they don't want to study or they are afraid to go to school or they are afraid of you that you will scold or beat them. So they are making acting, yeah. So they are okay. All those things. Stomach ache, pura hai, hai na? When they play, there is no stomach ache. When they study, there is a stomach ache. So that is a diagnosis. Okay. So it is better to go to a pediatrician. Now, how to identify there is a worm infestation? Very easy. <coughs> Less likely, then Shida. So just a second. There is a message. From my team ASAP, I will check. Mm, good. Oh. Correct. Ashwini, good answer. Now this tool test, tool examination, children are not comfortable. You are also not comfortable. That is so dirty and bad. Yeah. Okay. So very easy ways I will tell you how to identify. One, the child is repeatedly complaining. Write down if you want. I will tell you five minutes. Just a second. Huh? I need to answer this. Haramesh.
Yes. I was on mute. So there was no sound. We are back now. So step for number one. What is the step number one? Everyone show. Smile. Smile. Okay. So there is always a stomach ache, constipation, or frequent need to go to the washroom. The client, uh, the child will complain that khana nahi bahar hai bappi. Khana. Whenever you give some food, it is half left. When the child appetite has decreased, food intake has decreased since six months or one year. The child is becoming thin, losing weight or not growing in height. Okay. Number three, there is itching in the nose, frequent itching in the nose or anus. Nose itching is also a sign for worm infestation. Okay. Number four, this, there are some white, white patches. Okay. Some light white patches on the face. Have you, you go to a government school. Okay. In, even in corporate, uh, in uh, big cities also, you go to government school and you will find many children just see in their assembly, morning assembly, okay, prayer assembly. And you will find half of the children will have some patches on their face. Okay. And then you will see, oh my God, this is a warm infestation. And for this, your teeth grinding. No. So, Stomach ache, losing appetite or less eating, losing weight or not increasing height because malnutrition. So even if you are feeding, absorption is less. These worms are eating everything, right? So there are two children you are feeding. One is the worm inside, one is your child. And number three is the itching in the nose or private parts. Number four, uh, I mean anus. So not the private parts, anus. So number five is white patches. Okay. So if you see all this, all these are there. If you see some of this also, it is better to talk to your family doctor and give syrup gentle. Right. Then next day the child will have some stomach ache and all, but these worms will go. Okay. And correct constipation, all those things. Okay. Have you seen any child with patches on the face? So these are not very clear cut patches. These are like light white patch. Okay. So Dr. Pramila, yes. So all, all the practitioners, they see it very routinely. Very good. So there are a question. Everyone pay attention. Hey, who is this? Jyoti, your ceiling fan is visible, not you. Oh, ceiling fan is attending the class. I like it. I like it. Okay, good. Oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. I did. Uh, huh. No problem. I was just having a mistake. Huh. So, there is one child. You are, <clears throat> you see that child has all these four or five signs. Okay, you think that gentle is required. Okay, either you are a doctor or if you are not a doctor, then you will ask the mother to get a prescription from the doctor. If you are not a doctor, you are not authorized to write a prescription. Okay, it is scheduled as drug. So, to whom you will give this medicine? Now, doctors from this group, please do not answer. Please wait, wait. I know doctors are going to give correct answer. So those who are not doctors, either MSc nutrition or those who are NGO owners, school owners, YouTube channel owners, please reply. You see a child, yeah, deworming. So you will give, you will do deworming for whom? The child or so you do deworming for the family actually. Right. So this child is not the only problem. Mother is also having the warm infestation. And that's why, correct. So you have to give to the whole family. 
So if it is a joint family, everyone. If it is a nuclear family, everyone. All the children. Okay. And mother also. Mother is more, anyone who is cooking. If father is cooking, then father also needs to do that. Okay. Those who are laughing very loudly, it means their husband don't cook. Very sad. Okay. You know, we cook both. Huh? So all the children plus someone who is cooking. If you have a maid, maid should also take it. Some people they have made at home who cooks. Okay. Then maid's children also need to take. <laughs> yeah. You need to take all those precautions. So that then the diagnosis is next time your child says, Mama, pet dukra hai. Only diagnosis is acting. Right? You know that. It's not a worm anymore now. Hey, bachcha acting kar hai. Okay. Now you want to check what is the component of Darolac? Yeah. So you can go on Google, check the component of <laughs> Okay. Hmm. Any questions? Anyone ask? If you enjoyed, write down, enjoyed, or how was your session till now? Interesting, enjoyed, uh, entertaining. Entertaining, anyone write entertainment? Okay. Which is the most important thing you learned today? Entertainment, very good. So, which is the single most important thing you liked in today's session? Which recommendation? You learn around eight to 10 recommendations for all the clients. Okay. Which one you liked? Which one? Smile. Very good. So, half of your problems means you are also, and clients also problem are gone. Okay. So you are not doing like this smile, breathing exercise. Okay. Recipe. So I have been recipe. Okay. So you can cook soya bean chunk. Very easy recipe. Everyone knows that. Okay. So for soya bean chunk and soya bean seeds, both have recipe. Okay. Both are good in test. So I have been chunks, they are rich in fiber, less in components, nutrients. So I have been seeds, rich in fiber, protein, calcium, phytoestrogens, all the components. Okay. So I have been seeds is better. Now, so I have been chunks, simple. You put them into hot water, boil for five to 10 minutes, then make a vegetable like your nutrient, whatever things you put in your vegetable. Okay. So I've been seeds is little complicated because it is hard. You know, when you cook barbati, approximately you follow that. I don't know what do you call it barbati in English, right? So, so, so I've been seeds you take in the night, have warm water, not hot, warm water. You soak it in the night or if you don't have time, you can soak it for two hours. After two hours, you take your cooker. In the cooker with the whistle or the CT, uh, you give two whistles to the soybean seeds, not the soybean chunks. <laughs> they are already so soybean seeds. And then after that, you make it a vegetable, whatever is your recipe. Okay. Yeah, Ritima. I have just called your husband to give you tea. Yeah, he's bringing. Yes, yes. Okay. Okay, so <laughs> so I mean, seeds, some people like it. Okay, and uh, you need to start right. Taste is good, right? You try it in your family. And uh, see, experiment whether these people like, then you can recommend to your clients. But the easy way, if people don't like soybean seeds, then incorporate in flour, wheat flour. Okay. So all the multigrain atas, if you see the content, they will always put soybean. So Hina, you will, if you start soybean seeds, you will start liking it. Soybean seeds have a very enhanced taste, right? And you can eat it like a snacks, like you eat uh, this moat, 
and all bengal gram and more sometimes you fry same thing soybean seeds you can eat dry or you can eat with rice also you will enjoy so madhuri interesting question but i don't know the recipe to make soya milk at home i don't know and that's very tedious probably right In, instead easy will be the soya flour okay yeah very good dr manisha thank you so another recommendation soya bean seeds vegetable then so what we do at home we make soya bean seeds vegetable with lot of onions fried onions plus then we will put some on lemon and all those things and we eat it dry the taste is awesome i did just that i will repeat it okay so complete recipe you want so soya bean seeds soak overnight in the warm water or at least for 2 hours then uh, give in a cooker you will give 2 to 3 whistles okay then after that normal your vegetable like you make moat and all those things similarly you fry it oil jeera namak mirchi haldi masala coffee chai pani puri sab kuch dalo usme pyaaz put more onions garlic ginger and uh, stir and then put soybean seeds and let it cook for half hour 15 minutes whatever you think appropriate it will not become soft soybean seeds will not become soft but while eating the texture will change the taste is very good then you can put some chaat masala or lemon or uh, raw tomato raw onion you can eat with chuda right you can eat with rice you can eat only this soybean seeds so all the taste is good you try it once so <clears throat> soda you should not eat uh, put in the so soybean because then it become uh, bloated and soda you know it causes trouble most of the times so soda typically we would use only for dogla idli and all those things so ha huh. okay so paridhi you have a good question okay now as a non doctor if someone is a doctor you can prescribe them uh, medication you can give lab test right but if you are a non doctor their family doctor would have already done some test they would already come with some diagnosis now they have come for lifestyle modifications okay or some diet modifications so don't go in the area of a physician you limit your area to the eight or 10 things which we have learned today your client will like you don't go so high five okay sit with me then some what there are two types of nutritionist dietitian okay one is they will go on google they will download some diet chart and then they will they will have printed charts and they will give write the name of the client and they say okay follow this uh, diet chart and client is a hey, chal baju mein <laughs> client will not come back right so this is a poor dietitian you want to be rich dietitian so follow this 8 to 10 thing which are practical okay so the client is not come to you for a chart right client has come to you for talk client has come to you for motivation client has come to you for understanding why they should do all those things right tell them this 8 to 10 things and they will like you they will come to you again and this 10 things which you have learned today they apply for all the conditions so hina you can do google on that now i tell you one thing okay so there are two types of student one student is remembering all the formulas tables values all those things not useful then there is another student rich student rich student is someone she will focus on the practical aspect what you should talk to the client client is not interested in the formula not interested in the values if you talk the client ha huh, 150 gram 200 gram 50 gram this 100 remove 100 gram hey what are you talking here nonsense 
I cannot understand all this maths. So I have come to the nutritionist and dietitian. Talk in their language. Tell them what they should do, what they should remove. In simple words. You can choose to give them diet chart and all. But in my experience, talking to them in their own understanding way, that is far more useful. Diet chart, anyone can give. It is a simple thing. Clients don't come back. If you give a diet chart, they don't come back. But if you smile, if you talk to them, if you understand, if you tell them, do this, do this, do this, don't take this, they like you. You ask, okay, is this feasible? Not feasible. You ask and tell them. Because if you give a diet chart, this is a fixed plan. No, it does not apply to everyone. Everyone start writing. What are the 10 things? Don't write one line, one message. Write everything in a single chart. Whatever you remember, start writing. Yeah. Sab kuch ek saath likho bhai. Bahen. <laughs> so, soda is not good for food. Write all the things which you remember, which you learned today in the single chart and then press send. Very good. Very good. You know, there are some people when they say what's up, they say, hi, sir, please tell me, what do you want? Then next is, sir, then they will start talking something, right? And they are like, oh, okay, thank you, <laughs> seriously, so mute the notifications of this person. So write everything what you want in the single chat. Very good. Jyoti, very good. Jenny, very good. Drink water. Don't forget. When you're prescribing, you also do it. I will write this, okay? So, and then send it as a WhatsApp to you. So number one is, Smile. Number two, breathing, exercise. Number three, you can add here uh, uh, exercise, but don't add exercise in the top actually. You Have you seen that? I have added exercise at number six and seven. Because actually you see exercise, clients are like, yaha phas gaya yaar, hazar rupay waste kar diya. Right? Because everyone is saying exercise and they don't want to do that. They are looking for a shortcut, right? But you are ethical. You will not use some medicines for a shortcut, right? So you give something which is good. Prebiotics and probiotics. Yeah, but acha hai. Acha laga, ma'am. Hmm. Other dietitian, nutrition, they are not telling ma'am this thing. You have told me this thing, ma'am. Ma'am, I like you so much. So the clients are like this. Okay. So you tell them that there are two things in the world. One is prebiotics and second is postbiotic. Sorry, <laughs> probiotic. <laughs> so probiotic. So prebiotic. So prebiotic means vegetables and fruits. Don't eat vegetables fruits for raw, raw thing. People say fibers and all. You eat it to feel good. They will like you. Okay, if you say eat vegetables and fruits for fibers, they are like, kya gyan hai yaar. Okay, kya pravachan hai. But if you say, if you eat vegetables and fruits, that will help good bacteria grow. It will secrete serotonin. This serotonin will go to your brain. It will convert to dopamine. You will feel happy. Oh, I will feel happy, ma'am. Yes, yes, you will feel happy. You come to me every week. You will feel very good. Because every time you come to me, I will tell you something. Okay, don't come to me for free. Huh? I will charge you. So, so this is prebiotics. 
okay to feel good and happy you come to me every week most important then you start prebiotic and probiotic so what is a probiotic probiotic is all those bacteria yeast and everything okay so curd yogurt buttermilk and uh, south indian food okay right so number 3 what is the number 4 number 4 you identify what is a allergen okay more likely allergen okay ask them what is a probable allergen so it can be lactose or it can be gluten tell them to reduce or remove one one reduce error, uh, lactose for one week then next time when you come we'll try to do, reduce your gluten okay experiment okay they also like yeah yeah i am experimenting something ma'am has given me some assignment to do something so they will like huh? so because they need to be involved okay what is the fifth water fifth is water take 5 liters of water unless you have been advised not to take water okay 5 liters water so when you wake up in the morning have one water when you wake up in the morning after brush so some clients are like sir before brush lene ka ki after brush lene ka yeah so the question is do you brush daily <laughs> okay reach or you feel you do it yeah important is you start doing it right so then uh, before brush if you want you can drink water after brush take a uh, squeeze lime juice lemon i mean lemon and then uh, four five spoons of honey and then water lukewarm water and normal water whatever you feel stir it well drink it you will feel good okay next what was the number 6 एक्सरसाइज अभी से करवाने का है चलो ठीक है करवा लेते हैं उसको बोलते थोड़ा सा कुछ एक्सरसाइज कर ले भाई बुद्धि के लिए अपने ठीक है सो एक्सरसाइज यू डोंट टेल देम दैट गो एंड जॉइन अ जिम नो दे डोंट हैव टाइम दे डोंट वांट टू वेस्ट मनी इंस्टेड ऑफ दैट मनी दे आर रेडी टू पे यू सो दे आर रेडी टू पे यू डबल इफ यू डू एक्सरसाइज ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ देम ओके सो बट दे डोंट वांट टू डू एक्सरसाइज राइट वेस्टेज ऑफ टाइम है बहुत से क्लाइंट ऐसी बात करते हैं क्या सर टाइम ही नहीं है है ना so you tell them that don't use lift in your building or in your office try to use the stairs good idea at least this is a start okay number 2 that uh, if you have a pet pet means dog not the stomach so take your dog for a walk or something go to a garden go uh, play with your child right all those things don't be like blind join gym a chal baju mein chal baju mein theek hai dusri nutritionist ke paas jayenge jo humko gym ke bare mein na bole bhai theek hai client aajkal aise hi che theek hai clients are not like ki how madam ne bola gym to gym karna hai even if you say gym even if someone joins gym they will not go there they will just join the membership how many of you are like this you are paid for the gym but not going be sincere write it in the chat okay those who are laughing very loudly i know what is the meaning of this okay you don't want to expose yourself do like this blink 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 yeah because only i will know that that you have paid but you are not going okay your spouse has done this no problem so ever then yes yes so 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 my spouse okay the poor spouse so we put exercise avoid lift simple exercise not the gym okay if now there are some client who are very fitness conscious they are already going gym they don't want you to tell them go to gym okay even if you say don't go to gym they will say no no mai to jaun bach okay so there are people very good but those who are not going gym you cannot convert them to gym okay but i will tell you in one of the class i will take in january month i will not disclose the date okay i will tell you how to get the clients you want this class how to get the clients from where to get the clients yes attend all the sessions i will come as a guest lecturer anytime and i will start talking like this so if you attend all the sessions you will get it 
that will not be shared on recording <laughs> so to encourage you to attend it yeah dr manisha is very sincere she is a very famous physician very busy doctor in one of the premium institute government setup but she is very sincere she attends all the lectures i love her so much okay very good next what is the number 7 or number 5 6 kya chal raha hai kaun sa number chal raha hai 6 क्या चल रहा है ये वापस दिखाना रितिमा क्या सिक्स और सेवन हम अरे बाप रहे हाँ सेवन चल रहा है हाँ सो सेवन नाउ वी स्टार्ट चौक ऑफ द ऑयल रिमूव घी शिफ्ट फ्रॉम बैड ऑयल टू गुड ऑयल सनफ्लावर ऑयल राजबरान ऑयल सोयाबीन ग्राउंड नट इफ यू आर एट ग्राउंड नट shift here if you are at soya bean try to shift here because the taste change is not different and cost is also not different you have to take into that account right so don't say start olive oil they are like hey cha cha kya dusri hum dusri leke aayenge nutritionist or they will never ever go to nutritionist because you have corrupted the name by saying olive oil ma'am aap khate hai kya olive oil तो यू से नहीं मैं खाती नहीं मैं पीती हूं डायरेक्ट सो द स्टडीज एंड द रिकमेंडेशन से इफ यू रिमूव घी नो प्रॉब्लम घी हैज नो यूजफुल थिंग बट इट हैज हार्मफुल थिंग्स ओके ऑयल हो गया देन नेक्स्ट इज शुगर सॉल्ट डेरी प्रोडक्ट्स ओके व्हेन यू रिमूव डेरी प्रोडक्ट शुड बी डू इट डेरी प्रोडक्ट एट नंबर या सो सॉल्ट and sugar so salt recommendation is you will use the salt regular what you are using in your meals do not reduce the salt intake never say to the client do not reduce the salt intake that is a doctor's decision for some condition they will do you will not do you should not take table salt add on salt okay add on salt means on the salad okay on your veggies do not take salt so now there are various salts available in the market okay salt coming from the mount everest salt coming from mount apis alippi mountain alippi sea something something salt pink salt red salt black salt white salt all kind of salts koi bhi salt khao sab kuch ek hi chahiye you go read the component of the salt what do you need you need two things from the salt one is sodium second is chloride and the third thing you need is thyroid correct iodine yes thank you surati very good smart so iodized salt you are going to use don't go for fancy salts and all those things those who use black salt black salt retains much water okay and you feel bloated right so there is something called shengda namak black salt and all those things okay rock salt now there are some companies who charge 1000 kg per rock salt and then there are companies like tata who are very reasonable 160 or 200 rupees per kg rock salt rock salt the only benefit is the taste is good it enhances the taste right if you see the chemical formula approximately same except one molecule right so it might doesn't make much difference which salt you use but which of all salt you use it should be iodized okay and use the salt which is economical don't spend your money on the salt you spend the money on visiting me every week because i am going to help you more than your salt so rock salt you can have at your home tata rock salt is very good okay it has a pink color taste is good composition is also good purity is very good you can rely on tata name then similarly tata normal salt is also good there is something called low salt in the market from tata that is something if doctor has recommended it contains low sodium as compared to normal salt both are iodized but as a dietitian you don't need to do that okay that is some uh, endocrinologist or nephrologist if they prescribe it's okay okay or cardiologist 
यू शुड टेल देम दैट उसमें रुपया नहीं खर्च करने का रुपया मेरे पास आके खर्च करने का ठीक है एंड सो हो गया सॉल्ट एंड शुगर शुगर यू रिड्यूस शुगर ओके डू नॉट ईट स्वीट्स एंड बिकॉज वेन यू ईट स्वीट्स यू फील ब्लोटेड इफ यू हैव अ क्रेविंग टू ईट स्वीट्स इट्स समथिंग लिटिल बिट राइट नाउ देर इज अ गुड क्वेश्चन जैगरी वर्सेज स्वीट बोथ आर इक्वल राइट डज मैटर सो मच फ्रॉम द न्यूट्रिशनिस्ट हाइड्रेशन परस्पेक्टिव हनी हनी इज गुड right but you cannot replace it make a replacement for the sugar honey what is our recommendation our recommendation is the morning so you add that as a recommendation number 8 okay so honey plus lemon plus green tea or black coffee theek hai good ritika good question so you have both the things at your home okay when you have some some foods you put rock salt some food you put normal salt okay so whenever you have we have some pulao or any south indian food we put rock salt or other things we put normal salt doesn't matter you can do anything okay really my very good question so i have done research on this topic After extensive research, now scientific research. Upon to science only student hai. How to do scientific research? You buy honey from all the companies. Tick 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 tick. Then you buy healthy honey from local place. Okay. Then you bring it at home. I have it at home. Yeah, it's there. And then you do the experiment. So winter season, honey should not be frozen. If it is frozen, throw it in the dustbin. Don't give it to your maid. Ah. Don't be corrupted. Okay, so throw it in the dustbin. Frozen honey. Number two, if you put honey in the water, it should not dissolve easily, right? It goes directly smoothly down and it accumulates at the bottom. Number three, when you stir the honey, it is completely dissolved. Right? Number four, the taste is different. If you uh, try pure honey, the taste is really good. So in my research, I have shortlisted and finalized Dabur. economical as well as good or reliable product or reliable company also so dabur humber honey it has 1 plus 1 offer on big basket <laughs> okay so every day we have a honey in the morning okay at least i do i'm very health conscious so dabur honey is the good now in the honey there is a jar you have to take it by the spoon and all the trouble then boil the spoon hey kon karega so there is a squeeze bottle also dabar has a squeeze bottle so you just press it take it drink it enjoy it okay yeah. correct correct dr pramila very good okay so uh, if you don't want to do all the research scientific way then just go for dabar and good i'm using it so number 8 recommendation is honey plus lemon plus green tea or black coffee so and number 9 recommendation is remove dairy products when you remove dairy products you are very smart what you are doing is you are attacking the bigger chunk okay your ghee is gone your cheese is gone your milk is gone from the tea coffee normal milk then your ice cream is gone your cake is gone good idea You are attacking the bigger thing. Then your ras malai, ras gulla, gulla jamun, everything is gone. Okay, so remove the dairy products. Now sometimes clients are like, "Ma, I ate khali ya, koi baat nahi. Khali ya, either milne either na koi baat." Okay, so don't scold. Say that you meet me tomorrow. I will we will discuss more. I will evaluate you, and then I will tell you something more. Okay. anjani ka good question okay so milk nutrients you can get for equally from the curd okay or butter milk i know curd and butter milk they are also dairy product but for the purpose of our uh, health versus unhealthy thing we say that you can have curd and butter milk and uh, all other dairy products you remove theek okay. hai now clients clients are very smart huh? they are like 
पनीर खा सकते हैं क्या मैम बिकॉज इफ यू से नो टू पनीर दे आर लाइक यार मैम आप तो सभी चीज मना कर रहे हैं हाँ फिर हम खाएंगे क्या ऐसे करते एक लाइन इसलिए बोलने का इफ समी आस्किंग पनीर मीन दे लव पनीर डोंट से नो हाँ डेट्स क्राइम दे विल फाइट सो हाँ पनीर चलेंगे ओके देन दे आर लाइक मैम टोफू की पनीर आपको जो ठीक लगता है वो खाओ कोई टेंशन नहीं दोनों अच्छा है दोनों अच्छा है डेली तो नहीं खाने वाला ना ठीक है देन देर आर सम स्मार्ट प्लान दे आर लाइक If you say no to milk, हाँ, they will ask this question. Ma'am, soya milk की almond milk. <laughs> okay, you are like, no, that's an interesting question. Soya milk twenty five rupees two hundred ml. Almond milk two fifty rupees one liter. Your present milk. Forty five rupees one liter. Now it depends on your pocket which one you want to buy. Okay. But I tell you, you come to me, visit me every week, and I will tell you step by step how to go. Right? You don't need to waste your money on almond milk every day. You can drink it as a refreshment. Then there are some like coconut milk. Yeah, yeah. Okay. so what is the next i will okay i will take this ritima's question so milk for the kids so there are some harmful chemicals in the milk if you take it from a non reliable source open milk hai na doodh wale milk man the milk man brings milk how do you know what is there what is not always take it from a good company either from some government branded sealed packet okay amul dinshas mother dairy Haldiram, good, good companies because these are huge companies, multi-crore corporations. They are not going to do adulteration to one some fifty paisa, but this milkman or some local person will do twenty-five paisa also, right? So take some good milk, right? In this good milk, the content is written. Whatever the content, yes, it is there. Whichever is the good product as per your region and city. Okay, always packet milks is always good, reliable. You can trust this company. Okay. So milk does not cause hormonal imbalance. What causes hormonal imbalance is non-veg. Why? Because these chickens, many times, many poultry farms, they inject some hormones for the faster growth of the chickens. Okay. So, if you give this chicken to especially girl child, then this can cause early menstruation, early puberty, some hormonal imbalance, and all those things. Okay. So, unless the client asks, you should not get into this discussion. These are controversial topics. What is the next thing we recommend to the client? now we talk of uh, inserting soya bean okay why soya bean for all age group it is good in vegetable highest source of protein calcium right and it also contains uh, fibers so very good skin bones muscles intestine all things good so either you add soya bean chunks soya bean vadi uh, soya bean seeds but also make sure you add into a flour anything else we missed out worm infestation for the children okay so if you know that these children are not doing actings then there is three probable cause rotavirus infection very common in india second is bacteria or amebiasis 
right? And third is worm infestation. Okay, so there are five signs of worm infestation. What are those signs? We will write down. Because of cross infection between the family, you need to deworm the whole family. Weight loss, loss of appetite, stomach problem, itching, white patches. Okay. This itching increases in the late evening and the night. Okay. The weight loss because the nutrients are absorbed by the Worms. So, deworming. Yeah. So, deworming you can do for adults also, if you think. And most important thing, when the client is coming for lifestyle diseases, obesity, hypertension, diabetes, insulin resistance, PCOD, right? You tell this client that your objective should not be loss of weight. Your objective should be loss of fat. Correct? Very good. So your, when you lose your fat, you increase your insulin sensitivity. You start feeling good. You replace this fat with the protein. This protein may increase your weight. So simultaneously, your objective should be to reduce your water retention, not the water intake. This water retention is because of sugar and salt. Okay. So if you drink sufficient water and if you reduce your sugar and salt, this sugar salt excess will go down from the urine and you will feel lighter, less bloated you will feel. You reduce your dairy products, all those. Okay. So tell them the difference, difference between losing fat and weight for lifestyle diseases. So when you lose fat, you improve your insulin sensitivity, decrease your insulin resistance, replace with the protein, you feel good, you feel less bloated, you feel light, you feel energetic. That should be your objective. Okay. And this will reduce your all these lifestyle complications. Okay. Don't tell them that this will, then you don't need to take insulin and all. So you take that, whatever your doctor has said. Okay. But this will reduce your complications. And PCOD also is majorly because of all those things. Right. So there is a benefit in that. Okay. Plus exercise. Then last component is. I forgot. Hmm. It will come. It's coming. Yeah. Ah. Huh. So when the client says, ma'am, I immediately want to lose weight or I want to ha ah, crash diets. Thank you, Dr. Madhuri. Very good. So crash diets. So if client says that crash diet either with medicines or crash fasting. So both are harmful. So why they are harmful? You tell the client. So when you have a crash diet, it will reduce your basal metabolic rate. At one day, you're going to start again eating. This basal metabolic rate will be less. And then you will have a refractory weight gain. Suddenly your gain, weight gain will be higher. If you have a crash uh, course of some medicines, you don't know whatever it is, natural, unnatural. You don't know. Anyone can claim anything. Okay. So the medicines might have some harmful chemicals. Some uh, allopathic medicines also. ACE inhibitors actually is the most common medicine they incorporate, huh? this natural thing. And then uh, some other things. They don't know what is the side effect. They don't care. Okay. They are looking for earning quick money. You educate your client. This will cause may cause hypothyroidism. This can also cause refractory obesity. And then you may face depression and refractory weight gain. 
educate client against crash diet and crash medicines for weight loss. Okay. Enjoyed revision done. Whatever you are learning, start helping people surrounding you. If you are working in a company, school or NGO, start helping those people. If you are a practitioner, start taking up those clients. Okay. So when you take a particular client, you may see that you have, you need to study more on that part. Do Google, go through the book. The book includes everything, what you need to know. Okay. So uh, read the book more for solving particular client. Don't wait, I will ask someone. No one is going to help you. You are to help yourself. There is no spoon feeding, right? You go to night, read the books, do your own research, write down notes and Books you will get now in your syllabus. The books include everything in your course. If you're not researched, you will get. And start helping those people. And if you are taking up the client, don't take free clients. Take up paid client preferably. Start with 200 rupees, 500 rupees, 1000 rupees per session, depending on your confidence and client's budget. Yeah, that is important. Yeah, we'll meet tomorrow. Tomorrow is very interesting topic. Child, diet, illness, gastrointestinal, penetration, Dr. Chamini. You want to learn? Don't miss tomorrow's session. Okay. Keep attending maximum sessions. If you miss, don't worry. No need to inform. Right. If you want to learn, attend. Right. So if you are not MSc nutrition or if you are not a doctor, you should wait till the completion of the course. If you are already a practitioner, you should start helping people. Okay. Enjoy. Have a great time. So Italy, those are Dokla, Uttapam, probiotics and prebiotics. Okay. Smile, the number one thing. Have a great time. Enjoy.